Seeing wildlife in their natural habitat is a rewarding experience. It's even better when you entice them closer with your leftover lunch, or so you may think. This may be a special moment, a connection with nature, or seem like a good deed. Well, unfortunately, feeding wildlife is not very good for wild animals. So here are seven reasons why you should keep wildlife wild. Human food is not appropriate for wildlife because it usually does not provide the nutritional needs that animal requires and may result in serious health problems. It also makes wild animals lose their natural fear of people, which can lead to habituation and animals relying on humans instead of following their natural instinct. Animals like chipmunks cache food in their burrows to save for the winter. The store food can attract larger, more dangerous animals like bears. Attracting bears is a concern because bears can become habituated. This is a serious issue for people, especially if bears get aggressive. Often in these situations, the animal has to be destroyed or relocated. Even relocation can put wildlife at risk. If a bear is placed in the same territory as another, the bear may be attacked and might have to fight to survive. As BC Park says, a fed bear is a dead bear. Feeding wildlife from or near vehicles is dangerous to animals, people, and property. This increases the chance of animals being hit by moving vehicles. Animals can be aggressive or spread disease when being fed by humans. Feeding wildlife causes unnatural conditions and increases the chance of fighting and injury among animals. This act is illegal under the Provincial Wildlife Act and the Federal Canada Wildlife Act. In 2014, an offender was fined $1,000 for feeding a bear from the side of the road on Iceland, Icefields Parkway through Banff and Jasper National Park. As development expands, people are more likely to travel more into the backcountry. We are interacting with wildlife more than ever before. So now that you know why you shouldn't feed wildlife, what can you do to help keep wildlife wild? First and foremost, obey the rules and simply do not feed wildlife. The best idea to ensure safety and good health is to keep your distance. View from a safe spot with binoculars or spotting scopes. When visiting parks, clean up after yourself. This way you aren't teaching wildlife that humans are associated with food. You can make an even bigger difference by encouraging other people to do the same. Feeding wildlife is also an issue around the globe. In Playa del Carmen, Mexico, wildlife including raccoons and coatis are a management issue due to visitors, especially tourists, feeding them. Similarly to parks in Canada, eco-parks in Mexico encourage people to not feed the wildlife by providing signage as well as verbal education through park staff. So remember, feeding wildlife human food is not very good for the health or well-being of the animal. If you want to enjoy parks and connect with nature, whether in or outside of Canada. View wildlife at a safe distance and do not entice them with lunch scraps. Make a difference and encourage others to do the same.